Hey everybody, Dr. O here, and the question came up today about vitamin D activation and metabolism in the body. So here's the short story. So starting off in the skin, when the sun hits the skin, the UV rays of the sun will take this molecule that's already present in the skin, 7-dehydrocholesterol, cholesterol-based molecule, and it will convert this molecule into what we call vitamin D3. Now, vitamin D3 is not biologically active, which means that it doesn't have an effect in the body in this form. So what we have to do is we have to take vitamin D3 and shuttle it over to the liver. So vitamin D3 will get selectively removed from the skin, dropped into the bloodstream where it gets shuttled over to the liver, and the liver has some enzymes that are going to take this molecule and convert it into 25-hydroxycholecalciferol, or simply calcidiol. Now calcidiol is still not biologically active. And its target ultimately is going to be the kidney because there are enzymes in the kidney that are going to turn uh, cal calcidiol into its active form. So we drop calcidiol into the bloodstream where it goes over to the kidneys. There are enzymes in the kidney that will act on calcidiol and turn it into 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol or calcitriol. And calcitriol is now what we would think of as biologically active. This is the vitamin D that we're thinking of that is creating effects in the body. So this version of vitamin D, and it is just kind of generically called vitamin D, is not the same thing as this. It's been acted on a couple of times. Vitamin D3 has been acted on a couple of times and uh, ultimately gets converted into this, which is its biologically active form. And this is the molecule that will help us manage our calcium levels and mood and help do some immune function and all the other things that we love for vitamin D to do. So that's the short story. Good question. Thanks for watching.